Megaloblastic anemias result most often from deficiencies of vitamin B12 and folate. Both vitamin B12 and folate are important for formation of nucleic acid and thus nucleus maturation. Deficiencies of these two lead to abnormal cells with immature nucleus resulting from defective DNA synthesis. But the RNA synthesis continues resulting in a large cell with a large nucleus. Therefore, the cells have cytoplasmic maturity which is greater than nuclear maturity. Megaloblastic cells are larger than normoblasts and have a delicate, finely reticulated nuclear chromatin and an abundant, strikingly basophilic cytoplasm. These features are more evident in rapidly dividing tissues such as hemopoietic cells in the marrow, particularly the red blood cells and its precursors. Such cells with immature nucleus are prone to undergo destruction in marrow itself. This type of hematopoiesis is termed ineffective erythropoiesis. Ineffective hematopoiesis affects all cell lines but particularly red blood cells. Here you are viewing a red precursor cell with basophilic cytoplasm and nucleus of normal maturation and size as for stage. This is an early erythroid precursor called pronormoblast. Now, in case of megaloblastic anemia, the red cell precursor of same stage shows similar cytoplasmic basophilia, but an immature nucleus evident as relatively larger size and more open sieve-like or condensed chromatin due to impaired DNA synthesis. This is a megaloblast at proerythroid stage. For better understanding, I am placing two cells side by side to reveal the larger nuclear size with the sieve-like chromatin of the megaloblastic cell on the right as compared to the normal erythroid precursor cell of the same stage, which is proerythroblast in this case. Now again, you see the normal cell pronormoblast stage showing normal size mature nucleus followed by a megaloblast with sieve-like chromatin. Now, I will move camera to the right demonstrating the normal maturation of red cell precursors compared to those of a, of a megaloblastic cell of the same stage. The normal is shown above and the abnormal is shown below. Here, you are seeing an early normoblast compared to its corresponding megaloblastic cell of the same stage. Moving now to more mature cells of the erythroid lineage, you see an intermediate normoblast stage evident by relatively eosinophilic cytoplasms in both the cells, but its corresponding megaloblastic cell has larger nuclear size and open chromatin. Coming to the later stages of erythroid series, we now see a late normoblast stage confirmed by an HB rich orange cytoplasm and a highly condensed nucleus. The corresponding cell in megaloblastic anemia has identical cytoplasmic color but larger nucleus with sieve-like chromatin. Now you see the enucleated stage of red cells that is a reticulocyte and a matured red cell. In megaloblastic anemia, the corresponding cells are larger in size called macrocytes or macrovellocytes. Macrocytes are enlarged RBCs with mean corpuscular volume MCV larger than 100 FL. Here, the whole pathological process is shown in a single view with the normal erythropoiesis shown above 
and a megaloblastic erythropoiesis shown below, demonstrating larger cells with normal hemoglobin synthesis and delayed nuclear maturation as first stage.